Good evening. People in Kelloland are bracing for the next round of flooding. Between last week's storm and what's to come, there will be plenty of damage to repair. What's worse, flood victims could be targeted by scammers as they try to rebuild. In our top story tonight, Kelloland's Kelly Volk shares tips on how you can protect yourself. Steve Stein is still trying to pump all of the water out of his house after Skunk Creek flooded last week. A portion of his basement wall collapsed. And I just heard this tremendous boom, boom. The water got so high it even crept onto the main level. Stein is one of many whose house is damaged by flood water. With so much work to be done, Kelloland could start to see traveling contractors. And are there good people in those groups of people? Yes, there are. But there are some people that will do substandard work and maybe not even finish the work at all and be on their way. If you're approached by one of these businesses, you should ask questions and do your research. Check to see if they're registered with the Secretary of State. They have to ensure that they are paying taxes here in South Dakota. Find out if they're licensed, bonded, and insured. Don't give in to pressure. If they say, hey, I've got 10 more appointments after this, so if you do it today, fine, you can be on the top of the list, but if you don't, you're going to be three pages down. That sort of pressure uh, is not a great way to make a decision. Stein hasn't been approached by one of these businesses, but he says if he rebuilds, he'll choose a local licensed contractor. Because while you can't always stop flood water, there's just nothing you can do about it. You can protect yourself against scammers. In Sioux Falls, Kelly Volk, Kelloland News. And there are plenty of other tips to keep in mind, such as don't pay for the job in advance. Don't take their word for it if they say they don't need a building permit. We've included the full list from the Better Business Bureau in this story at kelloland.com. Well,